What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. This video is all about this Sony ZV-1. If you've been following my channel about a little over two weeks ago, I did a video on this camera that it was broken and I said, oh man, I've had such bad luck with breaking some of my devices or my devices just breaking on me altogether and this was one of the devices just broke on me. I didn't personally do anything to this. I had an issue that um, when it was on, the display would show this weird like pink thing going on here like all kinds of weird pinkish kind of weirdness on the lcd display and then it would like mess up my memory cards that were inside here i tried different batteries i tried different memory cards um i think i even reset the camera i did a bunch of things nothing would work I even i tried to update the firmware but it just wouldn't let me it just kept automatically turning on and turning off turning on and turning off so again a little over two weeks um the end of may really because now at the time i'm making this video i'm kind of it's it's a uh, june 16th so the middle of june really um i sent i contacted sony through their website and i submitted a request because it's still under one year to get this thing fixed and i'm going to tell you what has happened since then so since sending off the camera, I got an email on June 8th, which is about a week after sending out the camera. And I got it from Precision Camera. Uh, and they said that they uh, listed below is your tag number and your contact information if you'd like to leave per uh, periodic check-in status of the repair visit our website below. And it basically just said that they had received it and that they were gonna send it somewhere. It ended up, I guess they're in, um, Enfield, Connecticut, and I could check on the status. I thought I was gonna receive emails and things like that. I didn't receive any emails, but it did tell me that they were working on it, again, which was about a week later. Well, fast forward to today, June 16th, the day I'm recording this video, and I got the camera back. And um, there was a, some pieces of paper inside, and this is what it said. It's an explanation of repairs, replaced power operation, a complete repair and return all functions to factory specs, current firmware version 2.01, and they completely cleaned it. And then description of parts used, it says main flex circuit and CPU. So it sounds like they did some major work on this. So first of all, they put it to the to the highest firmware version, which is great because I wanted to do that anyway. At least they did it for me. I didn't have to do anything. They did factory reset all the settings on here. So I had to go back in just a bit ago and set everything back up. And then also um, the thing that they fixed, which says replaced power operation and complete uh, repair and return all functions of factory specs. They basically went in there and uh, changed the circuit board and the CPU, it sounds, completely on this. And at this point, you can see, turns on, oh, I'm blocking the lens, turns on, and just to show you that it works, here's a little video I recorded with it. And then just to show off that the camera is working, this is the Sony ZV-1. Batteries are in there camera memory card is in there the screen looks amazing while i'm recording everything is beautiful and back to normal and i'm extremely happy that this camera is back in my hands and i can begin using it again for kind of like my b-roll and like my secondary camera overall this is a great great camera to have if you're a content creator just starting out uh, or even just you know looking for a b-roll camera or, or a main camera as well this is again it works great so at this point, everything is working great. It's back in my hands and uh, I'm not worried that it's gonna break anymore because they did a major, major fix on this with that circuit board and hopefully I won't have any issues with this. But uh, so far so good. That was really the first issue I had with it and um, now with the latest firmware, hopefully it killed, killed any bugs that I knew or didn't even know about. And ultimately, uh, it's a great camera regardless. Like if you're looking to get this camera, you'll love it. If you're a content creator, like I said a little bit earlier in my little clip of using this camera, content creators, uh, just a person that wants a great camera overall, this great video, this is an awesome, awesome camera. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road.